Hi guys, welcome back. I thought it would be nice to start the new year off by doing smaller projects, since I still have so many empty frames lying around. When I was in Germany at the end of December, I bought this paper, specifically prepared for oil paint and perfect for today's paintings. To get in the flow of loose painting, I'm starting off with a small master copy from Claude Monet. I wasn't familiar with this particular painting, so Monet's book always gives me some insight about each painting and his life. It was created in Argentai, at a short distance from Paris. It was a popular spot where many other famous artists came like George Seurat, Van Gogh and Alfred Sisley. The reflections of the sky Boats and buildings on the water created scenes ideal for experimenting with color and light, perfect for the impressionist movement and their plain air paintings. I found it was difficult to paint. While our eyes and brain work together to give a clear picture of what's around us, Monet did something different. He breaks it down into simple individual brushstrokes, instead of looking at something as a whole. The second painting that caught my eye is called Two Doves, where you can see two doves laying beneath a bush with pink roses. This painting gave me such romantic summer feelings, so I wanted to give it a try. I started with the background, painting loosely, knowing that the focus would be mainly on the doves. I think because this time I'm working with paper, it felt like there was less pressure than if I was working with a canvas that is more expensive and I am more afraid to mess it up. I'm having some trouble with the pigeons. They are partially in a shadow. The colors of the shadow are really difficult. They are almost muddy. Well, that's also my fault, but yeah. I'm having a hard time and it looks really weird right now. This part is going to be light that is completely in the sun. This is in the shadows, and the tail is also partially in the shadow, so let's see how this is going to turn out.
Even though some parts were really challenging, I kept going. By adding warm yellow tones onto the dove's feathers and bright orange on their tiny beaks, you can feel the warmth of the sun. And that made the painting finally come together. A rose, to me, is one of the most beautiful subjects to paint, but also one of the hardest. I bought myself a lot of roses in different colors and shapes, and this rose I am painting today was not my first try. It takes a lot of practice and patience, and having patience is something I'm trying to work on. I can get so frustrated when I don't see the results I want. But roses have such a complex structure, with petals folding and overlapping that creates an interaction with light and shadows, while keeping a soft and almost velvet surface. Motivating yourself to keep painting can sometimes be as much of a challenge as the painting itself. But each rose I've painted is another milestone. And maybe in a couple of years I will overcome the complexities of painting a rose and develop the artistic skills that I want to gain. As some paintings can be a struggle and evoke emotions of frustration, this painting I made from a photo was the complete opposite and so relaxing to create. It's a photo looking over the hills on a bright and sunny day with a gate and flower garden in the foreground, almost like a fantasy world. From the sky and the foggy mountains in the back, I worked my way to the front, painting each hillside more bright and colorful than the previous one.
once I started adding bright green leaves and pink flowers, the foreground came to life. I paid so much attention to the flowers that I almost forgot the tiny house in the back. This last painting made me think of Bilbo Baggins from The Lord of the Rings, stepping outside his Hobbit Hall, looking out over the hills of the Shire. The small path leads from the garden gate through the flower garden over the hills. And if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. sure where I want to hang them all up, but before I do, I still have some empty ones to finish with you. Thank you for watching.